In this tutorial, I will show you how I processed NGC 7635, the Bubble Nebula. The complete mosaic for this image is not available in the Hubble Legacy Archive. Each panel for the mosaic is, however the complete mosaic can be found on the Hubble Heritage High Level Science Product page. Scrolling down the page to the data sets here, the Bubble Nebula is at the bottom. This brings you to a new web page that has the data sets for this beautiful image. Scrolling to the bottom of the page, the data sets are here, 502, 656, and 658. 502 will be blue, 656 will be green, and 658 will be red. Download the science FITS file and convert it from a FITS file into a TIFF file using FITS Liberator. Once that is complete, open up Photoshop and go to File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack, and load the three files for the Bubble Nebula. I always like to rename my files before I begin processing. From there, I start with the bottom layer, unselecting the eyes so that layer is visible, and adjusting the levels before I begin processing through image adjustments and levels. I do the same for the middle layer. and for the top layer. Once I am happy with the levels, it is time to colorize the image by going to Image, Mode, and RGB color. Select Don't Merge, and once again unselecting the eyes and starting with the bottom layer, I go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Hue and Saturation, and choosing Color Eyes, I begin with the blue layer. I do the same for the green layer, and the same for the red layer. Then selecting the layer itself, I change the blending mode from normal to lighten. Only for the top two layers, it does not matter if you do the same for the bottom layer it will still look the same, whether it is normal or lighten. Next, I flatten the image. First, I will create a duplicate layer from the background. And before I begin any processing, using the Perspective Crop tool, I will cut out the area of the image that I would like to process. The image has come out with a little bit of white around the edges, so using the rectangular marquee tool, I'm going to cut away the edges and choose the areas of the image that I would like. Then going to Image and Crop, I'm able to crop this image. 
because there is still a little bit of white on some of these sides, I'm going to just replace that white with some background color using the spot healing brush tool it will fill in the white with the black background there are also some colored pixels at the edge of this image, the spot healing brush tool can also get rid of those and create a more even background as well. Now this image here is ready for further processing. The first step I would do would be to place my black threshold point using the color sampler tool. I often do not place a white threshold point because it does not matter as much to me how the white levels are in the image. However, you may do that if that is part of your normal processing. And from here, I would then go to the adjustment layer for selective color to enhance the colors in the image. I would also use the camera raw filter to bring out details in the image, the noise reduction filters to reduce noise, and so on to further enhance this image. This is a stunning image and produces a variety of colors. I hope you enjoy getting to process this image.